Hello, my name is Miloš from Serbia API, and today we are going to talk about how to scrape site results from Google Scholar organic results. But first, let's see where sites are located on the page, and then we are going to talk about how to retrieve them. We are now on the main Google Scholar website, and the results we are trying to scrape are located right here, behind the site icon. So if you click that icon, you will get the pop-up with all the info we are trying to grab. There are two steps we have to do to retrieve this data. First one is to our Google Scholar API to retrieve the organic results of the page. We talked about this in our previous video and you can find the link about that in the description below. When we get the main organic results of the page, then we just need to grab the ID of individual organic result and then perform a second request to retrieve the site results. Let's test this now in our playground. First, as we thought, let's search for biology. So now we are retrieving the main organic results for the query biology as you can see here. Let's demonstrate this with Ruby from one of our libraries. So to use Ruby, you just need to install the gem that we provide, so Google search results gem for Ruby. After that, just copy the code and let's create a new file, paste the code and retrieve the ID only. So let's put hash. So, again, so, let's take only the first one and take the ID. Let's save the file and execute. So, as you can see, we now have the ID. So let's now take the ID and perform a second search, second request, to retrieve the actual site data. So let's go to our Scholar site engine and just paste the ID, click the search button, and that's it. We now retrieve the citations and links. Let's test this in Ruby and see how it goes. So Let's just change the name of the engine to Google Scholar site. Query should be the result ID and we don't need HL element. So let's print all of the results. And here we go. So now we have all the site results. So as a summary, we have to perform two requests. First one is to our Google Scholar API to retrieve the organic results and grab the ID of the particular result that we want sites from. Next, with that ID, we want to go to our Google Scholar site API, paste the ID to retrieve the results. And that would be it for this video. We learned how to retrieve Google Scholar site results. If you have any questions, just post them down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.